Well, this is Democracy Now! We are breaking with convention, war, peace and the presidency. I'm Amy Goodman. We continue our coverage of the Green Party convention in Houston with the party's 2004 presidential candidate, David Cobb, interviewing WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange. It is a remarkable moment in U.S. politics. Uh, for the Greens, it's—I it's, mean, uh, the Greens, if, if they uh, pursue this uh, um, campaign, as they do seem to be doing so, can and I believe probably will produce a very solid block after. Uh, and I think that's really heartening. Uh, it's, it's a horrific vision. I mean, I would, I, who's going to be US president, next US president is a horrific vision. Um, I was asked this question, did I prefer Clinton or, or Trump? Uh, and I mean, the, an the answer is, well, you're asking, do I prefer uh, cholera uh, or gonorrhea? Uh, the, <laughs> I mean, it's a, it's a very sad situation, but I think, given the reality has always been uh, that the, the presidency pretty quickly uh, merges with the bureaucracy that it's around it, because bureaucracy is enormous uh, and the corporate lobbyists are enormous compared to the political parties. Um, it actually, it, it could be a net positive, a net positive. Uh, to have uh, a president President. In the form of Hillary or Trump, probably. Who knows? You never know what happens in a campaign. Maybe Jill Stein will be president. Maybe Gary Johnson will be president. Uh, no, I'm serious. You never know. Like it's. Who knows what happens during a campaign? Anything's possible, uh, and you have to be ready for that. Uh, but if it is Hillary Clinton uh, or Donald Trump, um, then that's a very adverse environment. But the the. Nature of those, pre I like things to look like what they are. I think Hillary Clinton, in her statements, demeanor, and um, associations uh, and track record, uh, looks like the power that she actually does represent. Uh, similarly, uh, with Donald Trump, maybe even, maybe even, maybe, maybe even Donald Trump, he even looks more like uh, what the power he'll end up uh, representing than he does actually represent it. Um, but that's a situation that generates resistance and accountability. Uh, and um, um, that is what really checks the behavior of government over time. Uh, it is the various pressures uh, that exist on the presidency. That's what checks their, beha checks their behavior. So these are two characters that are the most unpopular uh, pair of presidential candidates in US history. Uh, and going into the presidency, uh, they are going to continue uh, to generate um, um, uh, oversight uh, and resistance, which will not only create a fertile uh, field for uh, Gary Johnson and Jill Stein uh, to grow um, their support, but will create a very fertile field to understand uh, and hold government to account. So take a note, Greens and Americans everywhere, it is social movements that will actually bring corporate America to heal. <laughs> Julian, Greens... That's right. And, uh, that's right. And a few, and a few whistleblowers. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> I stand corrected. I mean, I'm, I'm here in the, in the United... Well, I'm here in Ecuador, in the United Kingdom, with a... With the pending sure. U.S. prosecution, it's very strange. I've become a, quite a multi-jurisdictional creature. But, but co the Corbyn phenomenon in the U.K. Uh, really does sh show that something important, very important, uh, is, ha is happening. There is, there is a political moment uh, in the uh, English-speaking world uh, that the Greens should, uh, and it looks like, are uh, seizing upon. It's a very important moment. I do think that... North Americans need to have a little more humility as we look to our sisters and brothers in the global south who have been fighting empire for 500 years. They have a more acute understanding of actually social mm -hmm. movements and electoral uh, arm of their social movements. So we should be humble and learn that lesson.